Alright, so I just wanted to show off my, um, my specific dolphin settings, and, like, just, like, just so that anyone who wants to use dolphin can, like, play in, like, the best frame rate possible. Now, my computer is by no means ideal, um, I mean, it's, it's actually pretty cheap, it's no gaming PC, so, but, um, you, by tinkering with dolphin settings, you can actually improve your odds of playing a game decently by a lot. So, um, you can change some of these settings per like on a per game basis um, because they don't they're they're not useful for all games, but they are useful for like ninety percent of all games. Like pretty much every game you see in this list here, um, these settings will will drastically improve the frame rate. So what you want to do is, ideally, if you're not using hacks, you would have enable cheats off, and uh, frame limit set to auto, and then for that you just do recommend recommended. Got to learn how to English. Uh, wait, I actually want that on. Okay, and you don't really change anything in interface, and then fast DSP emulator engine, and then um, audio. It, audio really wouldn't affect anything except for the audio quality uh, so like if you end up having like um, any issues with uh, with audio output uh, you can change that because I think by default it's X audio 2 um, but I had issues with that so I changed it to D sound and I don't have any issues now unless I'm messing with hacks I mean, GameCube, Wii, Paths, you keep all that stuff the same, and yes, I'm using 4.0.2 instead of 5, because it just works better for me, it's more stable. Now, graphics is where you really want to fo like put your focus on, so the back end and the adapter are dependent upon what uh, graphics card you have, so um, the li your list may be different than mine, but basically you just choose your preferred graphics card and then that. And for display, uh, have VSync off, and you can show the FPS. Render the main window helps a lot, um, and that's basically it for that. Except you want aspect ratio to auto and auto resolution, all that's by default. And then lowest resolution is native, so you just do native or window size if you're still having issues with that. You can make it even smaller. Um, Anti-aliasing off and that off, or you know, set to one, and then scale EFB copy, force texture filtering, and disable fog. You want all of that. And per pixel lighting just updates the um, graphics a little bit. It does slight graphics improvements. Um, I haven't really, I can't say I really noticed anything with it, so I just have it off because it can cause a little more lag and on widescreen doesn't really cause lag and skip EFB access from CPU and ignore format changes those two are the biggest time or are the biggest frame savers there so have both of them enabled when EFB copies to texture and then texture cache to fast or if you're having issues with the game then change it to safe and then external frame buffer disable that um, it doesn't really make too much of a difference if I remember correctly but um, I have it disabled because if I do virtual or real, it like it glitches the uh, graphics in some games. I can uh, sell the Twilight Princess and in Wind Waker, so I just have that disabled. And then cache display list is another good one. Uh, disable destination alpha that can save. Uh, frame rate, but it can break some games. Like the games I play, like Zelda's, it can break Twilight Princess. So I have that disabled. And then fast depth, depth calculation, that's another one that's um, that can break some games. So yeah. You know, in advanced, you don't really need anything there. It's just for extras, basically. You could do like show input display, but it doesn't matter. So yeah. And um, then there's the in-game settings, like for Twilight Princess, well basically for any Zelda, uh, you want these settings. I've experimented with it through trial and error, and found that these settings work the best and don't break the game in any way. <coughs> so yeah, for you want enable dual core, and um, 
basically you disable everything except for dual core, uh, DCBZ clearing, and DSP HLE emulation. I used to have the um, MMU speed hack, but it turns out that breaks some games. At least it does for Twilight Princess. I, don't, I haven't tested it with others, so I just have that disabled. Um, LN CTP hack for Zelda Twilight Princess only. So yeah, and of course those settings can change depending on each game, but I basically keep all the settings the same across all games, except for the CTP hack. Just to like, try to keep it consistent. Just showing off a few game settings here, so, so that you get the idea of it. Hmm, I don't have anything changed for Melee, I hardly play it, but... And then Wind Waker. So yeah. I mean, it, it just takes a lot of trial and error. Just play around with settings and you'll eventually find what works. But these are the settings that I've found to work best. So, yeah. And if you have any questions, as, as always, just leave a comment below and I will try to answer you as fast as I can. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps some people.